Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna get ready for a special event look and this look actually is going to be perfect for a wedding guest look. Yes, and more of recreating the look that you saw in my New York City vlogs. Natural yet pretty that lasts all day without a single touch. And a special thank you to Armani and Sephora for sponsoring today's video. If you guys watch my New York City vlog, you guys know I took my Armani foundation and the concealer lipstick. Guys, it was humid every day from little to a lot. It rained and it was so hot. I really didn't expect it to be that hot. It's in New York City. You know what I'm saying? And also, we had to wear a mask like 50% of the time. I didn't really know that, but it was required getting in and out, Uber. Oh my goodness, very strict. And some stores still require wearing masks. So of course, had to, you know, but yes giving beautiful like a whole credit to these products wonderful and especially this lipstick it's called lip power long lasting satin lipstick from armani absolutely beautiful this is the color that i am wearing and i bought more colors because i love so much pink and the orangey-ish red shade with hint of gold to it you're gonna see beautiful later in this video. This lipstick, it lasts. Seriously lasts with the mask on, on and off the whole time. And also what I absolutely love about it is it feels so comfortable, like a lip balm, but with the pigment and long wear of a stain. It's not shiny, but glossy. So of course, I highly recommend you to check out especially the lipstick from Armani's Beauty Lip Power Lipstick at Sephora.com. And I'll pop the links to everything that you see in this video in the description box down below. And shall we begin? Tatcha first with the Beauty Blender. You see the breakouts here, here and there. Think from traveling. I'm gonna use the concealer first. It's Luminous Silk Concealer number five to cover up my under eye. Dark circle and the spots, discolorations, all that. This area, I have so much to cover up actually. And if you're wondering, I do have lash extension, so that's why. And it's so interesting that I only have dark circle that is pretty deep on my under right side of eye, you know? The left one, I don't have the foundation that I've been absolutely loving. It gives really nice coverage. At the same time, looks very natural. Like it says, luminous glow, silk foundation. Feels really light also. Just did one layer with less than one whole pump. Do you see how much it changed? Just one. I didn't even use the one whole pump. I just stopped, you know, from pushing. And you have to shake, shake. I'm gonna put one more of just half amount of pump. And the areas that have some color issue, 
just gonna dab it there and this lasted all day while I was in New York City it was <sighs> hot and humid rained quite a lot while we were there and yeah sweat a lot too but it lasted even I had to wear mask so this will be like one whole pump because I didn't even use the whole pump the first time and you know what I didn't realize I was wearing that and now I'm gonna just use this to that up so at least it's out of my face you guys can still see right I am going to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer and before I do that let me show you this travel brush kit when we went to Texas I was like oh, my brushes are gonna get dirty from just being all around in my makeup bag so I wanted something separate but small and light enough to carry with me when I travel so this just worked perfectly when I went to New York like easy peasy right becomes so tiny and I added more things as it's got more space every single brush that comes with the set they're all useful and super functional and practical to carry with you when you travel and even at home I'm gonna be keep using like this and fold it up and I'm going to use this actually it says foundation but using this creamy bronzer I'm going to use that whatever is left I'm gonna be just using to create that V line <laughs> And try not to drag it down all the way like right next to your lips that's when your face look you know like sagging instead of lifting and whatever is left I'm just gonna do right here because my hair will cover up anyways so I don't need to pay so much attention right there and I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush to contour my nose I really don't have much of nose <laughs> if your nose shape is long try not to do like too much of the line you just have to do right this part and only this area but I don't really have long or not much so I like to give more of the definition here so looks taller and right this the tip of the nose and if you feel like you add or put too much product go like this blends really well also the color is walnut and whatever that's left I'm gonna just put it on my eyes to give a little bit of color before I put the eyeshadow and I'm gonna use brand new eyeshadow today that is super easy and beautiful for event or the wedding I'm gonna set my foundation and everything from Huda Beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder it's got a little like mesh on top of the powder so it doesn't go everywhere because they're so fine and I dab it on my beauty blender and I should have used this first the secret under eye powder from Laura Mercier you guys all know this is my favorite this also you can use with the beauty blender it's quite interesting product it's my all-time favorite but it's so hard to explain but it brightens and I just love it using for years I still love and still use I just use under eye can you guys see the difference but it's just really subtle this is the brow brush the brush is a little bit larger than what I'm used to and also it's just really sharp 
absolutely been loving because it works, you know, faster as it's bigger than, like I said, what I had. Giving the base area to work on with the pencil. This is another one that I use for years and years and I still use because I haven't found anything better than this. Gave some color also. Color is soft brown. The reason it's broken is I talked about it last time, I think. Okay, look. Anything that's kind of have a problem or, yeah, broken. Kayla, little curiosity. He likes to, you know, throw things <laughs> and see what happens next. Soften that look. Kind of like square-ish. Became so much softer and more natural, right? Let's do the eyeshadow. Ta -da! This is Armani Eye Tint for your eyes. Easy to apply. Tip is nicely shaped. It's like sponge type, very soft to use, and it's flat and pointy. You can just apply right away, but I would just put it on my hand and I like to use like this that way I can have not a whole a lot of pigment just work around it it's really pretty to have just one you don't need to use others when the sun hits, it just looks glowy and quite natural because the color, it's not like strong of the color, not too dark. And I'm gonna blend and it dries pretty fast and it stays, stays put. Now that's like naturally pretty. If you want more pigment, use the tip. It's easy to apply and you can use even with your finger tap and of course i'm gonna use my favorite eyeliner tom ford it still works but i think it's time to change up the new one the shape of my eyes it goes down at the end it's like a half moon shape so i could look like tired or sleepy or not happy do you know what i'm saying if i draw my eyeliner more like down or the same shape as my eye shape so when I do this I tend to kind of go up upwards and see it's like time to change when that happens you just go like this the product comes out more and I like to do it at the end only because I already have eyelash extension so it just give too much of that dark color shape now I'm gonna use the blush from Clinique Chick Pop. The color is the Peach Pop number two. This I've had, you can see it's kind of dirty. And I'm gonna use this blush brush from Sephora from the kit. Circle around it here. Just stab it a little bit. I've been putting the blush higher up than I used to. It also gives a lifting effect and youthfulness when you put it right, not right next to it, but under your eye. I like that, especially like peachy shade. Look always nice. Now I'm gonna use Huda Beauty. Just one color, like darker shade right here. This loosen up the line of the eyeliner to make it a little bit softer than just, you know, the line. Then I'll blend. Now you see a bit of difference. It just opened up or released the line of the eyeliner that I used. And whatever is left on the brush that you used, so apply under. And also, if you want more of dramatic look, 
mascara do it under lash also but because i have the eyelash extension it tends to kind of cling together yeah i don't have big eyes so that's why i'm not going to do it now i'm gonna change and yeah i'll be back with my trusty dyson do my hair and ta -da! <laughs> and while i was putting makeup on i couldn't really see myself through the viewfinder just because I didn't have contact lenses so I put the brown color circle lenses so that's why they look more brownish color to match my hair hair color pick up the lip balm let me put on the color that I wore while I was in New York City and absolutely gorgeous everyday color nudie pinky you know that perfect shade this is called the lip power as you can see it's pointy so it's easy to apply and it feels really smooth silky super comfortable on my lips and feels like wearing a lip balm that's how comfortable it is but it's got the vivid color and it's satin finish yeah side note it's the trend actually giving a touch of gloss glossiness not the matte finish so that is just gorgeous and just like the name of this lipstick lip power it gives that long wear of lip power last all day i had mask on on and off like some places okay some you have to wear so yeah constantly but the lipstick lasted so long and the foundation also is just beautiful i'm just so so glad that i tried and also i bought them before i went to the trip if you haven't watched that i'll link to it down below for you to check it out i just want to give you the full like true color so just in case if the stain is still there now let's try the reddish color first this my second favorite out of these three now you see why i love it it's red with a hint of orange color undertone to it it's not sparkly but it has like a hint of gold like sheen to it that just makes this more special than other orange shade red color that i have also but if you love true red shade they have a bunch of different red shades darker red like brick red mystery red this orangey red i love and also they have different like more orangey than this one yeah they've got so many different colors check them out love 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 this looks to really stay so that's why i put the concealer on top of it even though i took all ah uh, you see the pink this is not like sheer type of lipstick but vivid like one swipe it just it is what it is on the tube right here and i'll make sure to write the exact number to each color that you guys see me trying in this video next to the links down below so you know which one because they have so many different colors this is like beautiful like purpley pink shade magenta i love it yes thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to armani and sephora for working with me in this video and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye guys